Welcome to Easy Limo Learning Simplified. My name is Eric. I'll be taking you through this topic scale drawing. And for this particular lesson, we're going to cover introduction to scale drawing. So you want to see what scale drawing is and how to solve problems involving scale drawing. So we have a few questions on the same to help us with illustrations on how to solve problems involving scale drawing. And then, of course, at the end of the lesson, we'll have some questions in the form of assignment just to help you practice on what we're going to cover during this lesson. So when you talk about scale drawing, we, we first of all look at what's a scale. So you can see the, the, a, a representation of a whole region, like a, a whole city, you know, just drawn on, 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 a, on a small section, like maybe just the, the, the page of an Exodus book, like, like the one that you can see down here. So this is the representation of a whole region. Look at the distance between Nairobi and, and Mombasa. That is a whole distance, very long but represented just within a very small section of, of, of a, a, a slide, you know, a PowerPoint slide like the one I'm, I'm displaying on the screen. So this one, you call it a scale, you see? So it's a representation. It's given in, it can be given in a, a, a represent, representative form or we can give it in ratio form. So you can say now this one here, maybe one centimeter here is representing maybe 100, kilo, 100 kilometers on the actual ground. That can give you an approximate idea of how long the distance is when you want to drive now from Nairobi to Mombasa, you know, on the road, actual ground, you'll be able to see what that is all about, you know. So that's what you call a scale, you know. So it's the ratio that represents the relationship between the dimensions of a model, like the one you can see displayed on the screen, this one here, and the corresponding dimension of the actual ground, or the actual figure, you see. So an example is like the one we have here, this one displayed here, it's that given that one centimeter on the map, now the map that we have down here, represents 50 kilometers on the actual ground. That will tell you that now, maybe if you use your ruler to measure this distance, it's approximately what? Seven centimeters. So it will tell you approximately how long, how long Mombasa is from Nakuru. So you see now you have to multiply. If one centimeter is 50 kilometers, how many kilometers is Mombasa from, from Nairobi? Multiply by 50 and that will give you 350 kilometers approximately, you know. Yes. So this statement can be given in ratio form instead of giving it as a representation form, like one centimeter represents, that is repre representative scale. We call it representative scale. You, 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 you just state it, one centimeter represents. But you can also give it in ratio form. So normally if it is given in ratio form, like the one you can see displayed on the screen, that means one centimeter on the actual ground represents... 5 million centimeters, so centimeter, centimeters. So when it's in ratio form, when you, were to, when you were previously talking about ratios, we said now ratios represent, uh, it's all about comparing quantities that are of the same type. So the units must be the same. So one centimeter on this side and centimeters on the other side. So that is what you have to make sure that it's done, that the units must be the same. So you take, say one centimeter represents 5 million centimeters on the actual ground. And if you want to do that, what we have done, is just converting the number of kilometers. So we say one centimeter represents what? Represents 50 kilometers. So when you write the representative scale, the units must be indicated. But now when you write it in ratio form, the units will cancel out because now centimeter, centimeters, so the centimeters will cancel out. So what I'll do, I'll convert this number of kilometers into centimeters. So let me convert them into meters first. I know kilo represents a thousand. So one centimeter represents what? So one centimeter represents 50,000 meters. And then again, you can multiply by 100. So that we have one centimeter. Uh, sorry, one centimeter. Now, I'll now convert it to ratio. So one centimeter to what? So 50,000. And then two zeros. So what are these? So centimeters. Now the centimeter and the centimeter can go so that we have one to five million. Yes. So you change it from representative scale to ratio scale. So the scale can be given in ratio form or as a, or as a representative scale. Why well, this simply means that now the one centimeter is on the map and the 
5 million is on the actual ground now as you move you know from nairobi to mombasa or from mombasa to nairobi that is the distance that you are expecting to cover as you as, as you drive along that that route you know or from nakuru to nairobi for example so we have a, an example here a scale of on a map or our map is given in a statement a statement form one centimeter represents four kilometers convert this to ratio four so as i said you just convert the four kilometers into centimeters so one centimeter to four kilometers so let me convert to meters first so one centimeter to so when the units are are, are, are different you still have to write them i can't write one is to four equals to one is to no 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 i'll have to convert them first so four thousand meters and then i multiply by 100 to change from meters to centimeters my ultimate goal is to convert both to centimeters left hand side is already in centimeters so i don't need to convert so one centimeter to four then you add two zeros multiply by 100 centimeters and now you can cancel the centimeters centimeters can cancel out so that this is one is two forward four hundred thousand As simple as that. So uh, the scale of a map is given as one to two hundred and fifty thousand. Write this scale as a statement. So what we know is that this is one centimeter on the on the map represents two hundred and fifty thousand centimeters on the actual ground. So I will convert this number of centimeters. So my objective is to convert two hundred and fifty thousand centimeters to maybe kilometers you see so that i say one centimeter represents four kilometers okay so how do we do that so let me convert to meters first so so that length in meters will be 250000 you divide by what by 100 if you are changing centimeters to meters you divide by 100 and that will be 25 Zero, 00 meters then the length in kilometers now you'll divide the length in meters by what by 1000 so that is 250 or 2500 divided by 1000 and what do we get 2.5 watt kilometers so the representative will say one centimeter on the map on the map the map represents represents 2.5 kilometers on the actual on the actual ground so you can say one centimeter represents 2.5 kilometers that is just sufficient you know now we have a map is drawn to a scale of one centimeter on the map representing 50,000 uh, centimeters on the actual ground. What is the actual distance for? What is the actual distance for a distance on the map given us? So this is the distance given on the map. You see. So we want to see the actual distance of the ground. So I'll, I'll have to convert, change this to so. I'll change this to representative so. One centimeter represents what? So. So 500 what? 500 meters you see so that maybe i can give the actual distance in, in terms of meters so you can decide to convert it further to kilometers so that you have one centimeter represents you know you divide this by 1000 will be 0 0.5 kilometers what about the 12.7 centimeters on the map they will represent what measurements on the actual ground so it's just a matter of multiplying the two so what do you get so you have 12.7 you multiply by 0 0.5 so how do you do this multiplication maybe we have one decimal place here and another one decimal place there so i'll just multiply 12 127 by 5 and then two decimal places 
So 127 by 5. This is multiplication. So 5 by 7 is 35. 5 carry 3. So 5 by 2 is 10 plus 3 is 13. 3 carry 1. And 5 by 1 is 5 plus 1 is 6. Yes. So that distance in in kilometers should be equal to 6.35 kilometers on the actual ground for a distance that is given as 12.7 centimeters on the map on the actual ground is actually 6.35 kilometers so that is how you do scale or that is what scale is all about and that's how you change from representative scale to ratio scale and vice versa and that's how you are able to use the same scale to solve problems you know when you're given certain problems in mathematics otherwise that marks the end of the lesson so a few questions are here you can attempt when that can be soon as possible uh, to help you practice and get you get your new understanding of the concept as discussed during this lesson otherwise that is the end for now till next time goodbye <laughs>